good evening children this is the last part of chapter second chapter of flamingo the lost spring or uh, yesterday we have seen in our previous part we have seen that uh, how mukesh is living in poverty how he is working there his father his grandfather they are working there in bagel making industry and we have seen that there is a dream in his eyes he wants to become a motor mechanic or uh, we have seen that how uh, poor they are the way they are living their houses and it's not the case of mukesh only all other families all other bangal makers they are living in the same poverty now she is talking about a girl she has seen this girl whose name is savita she is sitting along with one elderly woman and uh, she is soldering soldering joining the pieces of glass and she is so happy to of this work that her hands are moving mechanically just like tongs of machine and so she is working there and while she is making soldering joining these bangles she is not aware about the sanctity of these bangles sanctity is purity or piousness you know how auspicious these bangles are for in the life of a married indian woman um, might be one day when she herself will uh, get married she will come to know about the importance of these bangles in the life of a married woman uh now the elderly woman who is sitting along with uh, this girl savita years back she got married and now she is also doing the same thing she is soldering uh, these bangles and you know there is no light in her eyes uh, this shows that there is no happiness no joy in her life and uh, i am going to quote one sentence which is spoken by this woman what she said is ek waqt se bhar khana bhi nahi khaya this is what she said to anis jam that she has not enjoyed a one full full meal in her entire life imagine the poverty that not a single full meal in her life she has enjoyed so this is what she got after years of hard work and her husband uh who is sitting there what he said is that i know nothing except making bangles and uh what he says is that it is the his only achievement is that he is able to make a house for the family to live in now see after so many years uh, he he is able to make this house and we have seen the description of these houses too wobbly doors tumbling walls uh see when but when you consider something as an achievement it means that many others are not even able to achieve this too uh now this is something very common there in the houses of uh these panel makers that they don't have uh, money to start any other business but to carry on with the same one uh and generally we consider that young men they are the one who think about uh, changing things who think about being progressive lekin yahan par kya hai what happens is that even the young men they echo the lament of elders nothing has changed there in firozabad and even uh, those young men who we suppose that they are dreamers they also echo the same problems that their elders are saying years of mind numbing toil mind numbing toil numbness is basically when uh, sensitivity or sensing capacity of a particular organ is lost you know their brain lost uh, any sensing capacity they just keep on working 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 no, nothing like taking any initi initiative or nothing like uh, you know dreaming something new is left in them Uh, now when anish was talking to a group of uh, these young men she said that why don't you organize and uh, make a cooperative it is something very common and something that is even promoted by government to uh, make a cooperative it is going to help all who are members in this cooperative so what uh, these young men they uh, replied they have also fallen to the brutal circle of middlemen and uh, like their father and forefathers what they says is that in case in case if they organize themselves to make a cooperative they will be beaten up by the police they will be stopped by the police they will be hauled up by the police for doing something illegal they will be dragged behind uh, the bars now this is not illegal but uh, you need to try to understand that why police is uh, treating it as illegal 
the reason is whatever hard work these bangle makers are doing uh, who is reaping the benefit it is middlemen it is policemen and others it's a long chain so they are earning because of the hard work of these bangle makers and they don't want that their situation will change otherwise the benefits that they are reaping it will be stopped their fathers are as tired as they are see this is some it is paradox you know how could you say that young men and uh, is is tired we we can be consider that young men are full of energy but you know this operation is such uh, this uh, you know they are trapped in such a way that it seems as if they are also tired and they have stopped taking any initiative to change their situation now it's a very important phrase which is given here uh, sometimes explanation of this comes here in the exam they talk endlessly in a spiral that moves from poverty to apathy to greed and to injustice now see understand this it is a long circle it moves from poverty poverty of whom poverty of bangle makers simple to apathy apathy of whom bureaucrats basically whatever schemes are implemented for the welfare uh, schemes are proposed for the welfare bureaucrats are responsible for the implementation of that and in case if they are lazy or in case for any other reason they are not doing that the benefit will not reach there to the poor so it is their apathy to greed greed of whom middlemen and to injustice injustice of whom policemen so in this way this is a spiral that begins with the poverty of uh, these bangle makers and it moves there and finally it reaches there to the injustice of police and they are trapped in this spiral that they cannot come out of it when she was listening about them she was able to see two very distinct clearly different worlds one world is of poor bangle makers for generations they are working but still they are not coming uh, they are not able to come out of this web of poverty they are burdened with stigma of caste too we have seen in our previous uh, lesson we have seen that uh, how what they believed is that as they are born there in the caste of bangle maker they are destined to work as bangle maker and uh, the other world is of sahukar sahukars basically are money lenders middlemen policemen keepers of law bureaucrats and politicians they all are on other side and you see that on one hand these are very poor and on the other hand they are reaping benefits of hard work of these poor bangle makers so these two different worlds are there now these politicians bureaucrats policemen all they have kept a very heavy bag or burden on the shoulders of boys like mukesh children like mukesh it's very difficult for them to to keep this baggage keep this burden down they are supposed to carry it throughout their life and then transfer it to their children now uh, we have seen that no one even the younger ones they are not devoid of any dream they are not uh, you know having any initiative left to come out of this but when uh, this boy when he was dreaming about becoming a motor mechanic it was something that anis jung considered as daring and you know to think differently is uh, you know just like a dare for them and uh, in the part of their growing up this word is not taught to them so uh, she asked him that how he will uh, learn uh, to repair cars because obviously garage is far off from his home he insisted that i will walk i will walk this shows his determination that whatever obstacles will come they are in the way he is ready to face all those obstacles then she asked do you also dream of flying a plane and she was suddenly silent she said uh, no in a murmur in a very low voice he is feeling bit embarrassed but still he is not uh, regretted of sharing his dream to her he is quite satisfied with his dream of cards which he has seen hurdling there uh, down the uh, town and very few airplanes fly over there on the sky of firozabad so he is quite happy with his dream to become a motor mechanic now see children we have uh, seen the lives of two uh, children here one is sahib a rag picker who is also caught there in the web of poverty and the other one is mukesh bangle maker we have seen that uh, they there are people who are responsible uh, for uh, these for the plight of these children 
they are responsible for snatching their childhood they are responsible that why these children lost their childhood and uh, they are the one who are responsible to snatch away spring from their life with uh, in next video we are going to start writing section thank you